to be a leader in a community, I think that is extremely important because a lot of times people don't have a go-to person, you know, and, and being a leader, uh, it opens that door and give them the opportunity to reach out in the event they have something that they just, just don't know how to handle. Ferguson community went through some changes a few years ago. So some things fell off and had to close. So it's kind of in a redevelopment stage. And I think the closer that I can work with the individuals and the small businesses and try to support some of their needs, we can uh, continue to flourish. I think it's extremely important that uh, with the heritage and the background of Ferguson that it continues to be around and be a place that people want to frequent. I'm passionate about that because I actually reside in the area, moved out in the area in 19, uh, I think 95. Pathways to Progress is not a program that just rushes you through, you know. They, it's a program that, that's going to walk you through steps for like five years. So they're going to monitor your progress, uh, give you the tools that you need, uh, if there's something that they help you with in the past, just going to continue to make sure that you're sustaining in that area. This program, if you have outstanding tickets, for instance, some people can't afford to get the plates on their car. They'll have a centralized judge that will help them get the tickets taken care of, help the kids get uniforms, uh, work with them so that they can get you know, food or energy assistance. So basically just removing all the barriers that will keep them from being successful. How I got into volunteerism, uh, it was through uh, Christ Church Cathedral. This is a homeless shelter uh, in the downtown St. Louis area, and it um, actually housed up to 70 women and children. And a good friend of mine was working there, and they would have different uh, like cookouts or barbecues and things of that nature. And he would maybe need the extra hand to come out to help feed the children and the families and the different people that would come out. So just being a part of that, and you know, just being a resource for the kids to just toss a ball around, it, it, it made me feel like this is something that I should do more often. Deciding to volunteer for the very first time, I would say understand the organization that you're volunteering for, understand the people that you're gonna be helping. I think that's extremely important, and if you're gonna do it, do it 100%. When it comes to leadership, you have a certain level of responsibility, um, and, and you have to own it. I mean, talk the talk, walk the walk. If you say you're gonna do something, do it. You're gonna follow up, follow up. If we can help on any level, we should jump right in and be a part of it. Whether it's on ground, ground one or floor two, all the way at the top. Just, just be a part of something that's gonna help change someone else's life. Working at the bank brings about a lot of opportunities uh, to volunteer, things of that nature. And some of which I probably would not have had any idea of had I not worked for the bank. So uh, as I can, I'm only one person, but I'm gonna do as many as I can. <laughs>